work papers and give out grades, but the minute this teacher's classes are over, it's goodbye school. Hello, cycling. I teach traditional classes like science and biology, uh, but I also have the luxury of teaching uh, amazing programs like the Cycling Academy here. Focus for today is always trying to master the fundamentals. Joel's been leading Squamish's Howe Sound Secondary Cycling Academy for the last couple of years. The credited course, the first school-based non-elite bike program in the country. The mandate of this program is to give students the opportunity to build character and strength of personality through their passion, which in this case is mountain biking. During the second semester, we're together for half a day every day. We get to know each other pretty well. Three times a week, the program's 21 students, ranging from expert, novice, and a couple international riders, practice skills training led by Joel and Cycling BC coach Mike Chirunk. See if you can just bounce on the spot. Bouncing, braking, wheelies, and cornering, just some of the exercises students practice on their bike. Basically, if their wheels can handle it, they do it. Working on skills a lot and riding your bike for half the day is just really fun. And that's not all. Breathing deep, relaxing, the other person's reaching way back into their hips. Twice a week, Jake and the rest of the students undergo a strength training circuit put together by Squamish trainer Jay Chiazon. A lot of it is teaching them to disassociate their hips from their back. Dawson is doing rear foot elevated split squats. This is a good way, instead of just squatting all the time, there's way less spinal load. Chloe's doing band pull-aparts on the noodle. The noodle just keeps you honest in terms of where your spine is. They're on the bike so much and they're in that bent over position and a lot of them don't know if they're fully like rounded through their spine. So the first thing we do is teach them some awareness of where their spine is in space and then once they have that then we try to load it. When we get to do like workouts in the morning I can let out some energy so I can sit in the desk for the rest of the afternoon. Just to be able to like do what I love at school is part of like my education is pretty cool. As fun as getting to ditch the classroom for trails or workouts is, I'm really jealous that they get to go through it and I never had anything like that. The Cycling Academy pushes its students to their mental and physical limit. With a few graduates going on to receive riding scholarships and jobs in the cycling industry, Joel's hope is that these students too take their now razor sharp focus and drive and apply it to the real world. The same strength of character that it takes to grow a skill that they're passionate about, it's the same skill set and character traits that are required to be outstanding with a part-time job or academics or relationships. And so uh, we try to begin that process here. This outdoors lover, proud to have brought a new spin to academic learning, one that he hopes other schools at BC will jump on as well. It's a pretty neat opportunity. It's another way to connect with young people and to empower them to reach their true potential and be the best version of themselves. Okay, great job today, guys. We'll see you tomorrow.